Warning. Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Every welding environment is different and needs to be evaluated by a qualified industrial hygienist to determine the appropriate course of action for fume controls. Your personal safety relies upon the proper use and care of your face shield papper head assembly to keep it working effectively. In the end, the quality of your work and your protection relies upon it. Your face shield head assembly should consist of the following. A clear lens, Gen 5 headgear, and a flame-resistant head seal. Your full papper system will also include a blower unit with padded belt, HEPA and pre-filter, spark guard, battery charger, lithium-ion battery, a breathing tube with flame-resistant cover, and a flow meter. To remove the lens in your face shield head assembly, start by sliding the left and right side locking tabs into the open position. From the underside of the head assembly, push the top of the lens away from the shell. Then, pull the lens upward to release it from the shell. To install the face shield lens, position the bottom edge of the lens behind the lens holder in the face shield shell. Then, push the top of the lens toward the shell until the lens locks into position in the lens holder. Finish by sliding the left and right side locking tabs into the lock position. The top of the headgear is adjustable for proper depth on the head to ensure correct balance, stability and comfort. To adjust, lift the lock tab and adjust the size to fit securely and comfortably. To tighten the headgear, use the back adjustment knob and turn left or right to the desired tightness. To adjust the angle of the head assembly, use the notches on the right side of the headgear. To adjust, loosen the headgear tension knob and push the top end of the control arm outward until the arm stop tab clears the notches. Rotate the control arm backward or forward to your ideal angle. To adjust the distance between the face and lens, pinch the adjustment rail and slide the headgear forward or backward to the desired position. It's important to note both sides must be equally positioned for proper operation. Inspect the breathing tube and replace it if it's damaged or the inside of the tube is dirty. Push the breathing tube connector onto the assembly inlet until it locks into position. Align the pins on the breathing tube with the channels in the blower assembly. Turn clockwise until the end is tightened. Put on the head assembly and adjust the headgear to fit snugly. Tighten the head seal drawstring to establish a tight seal around your neck. For best results, wipe down your head assembly with a soft cloth and a mild soap water solution. Let air dry. Never use solvents or abrasive cleaning solutions to clean the respirator. Keep water and other fluids out of the blower assembly. When not in use, it's best to store your head assembly and full papper system in the job site tool bag. For a NIOSH approved system, the Miller Papper Blower Unit must be paired with a Miller Respiratory Head Assembly. Your Miller Face Shield Papper Head Assembly is now ready to use. For more information on your Papper system, visit MillerWells.com respiratory.